Hi guys, today we're gonna to be making this rivet fob by Parker on the porch. It's super cute. You can see this is the front side, what it looks like. This is the back side. Okay, and then you can put it on your wrist like that. You can put your keys on it. You can hook it to a bag. The thing that's cool about this is now she makes a lot of the other um, fobs that use this hardware. So you have the choice of the ones that have this hardware right here. But now you can just use rivets. Rivets look like this. And then I, you can buy different ones. I bought crystal ones. There's all different color ones you can buy. And they're called rivets, so you can go look for them. And then you just use these lobster swivel clasps on them. So now you have two options on what you want to make, depending on which hardware you want to use, okay? So I'm going to be using the My Punk Brewery Stardust. That's what's on the inside. We're just going to make the exact same one. The Stardust is on the inside right here. I'm going to use this teal. And then I'm going to use this rainbow, which is also from My Punk Brewery. Really super pretty rainbow vinyl. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do one sheet of tear away. And I'm making a bigger size. This is the 12. So I'm going to use my 7 by 12 hoop right here. So I have one sheet of tear away. I'm going to go ahead and meet you over at the machine. And I'm going to show you how to put this together. Okay, guys, we are at my machine. I am running a Baby Lock Spirit right there. Okay, so this is what my screen looks like. We're going to go ahead and run the first step, which is the placement directly on to your stabilizer. And I will run that and come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, that's what your placement looks like right there. So now you want to get a piece of vinyl big enough to go over that. So here's my first one. And you just want to place it over there. Now the next step, step two, is going to go ahead and stitch the placement holes where you're going to put your rivet, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. I'll come back and show you. Okay, you can see that it went ahead and ran placements. Okay, and if you want to just eyeball where these go, you don't have to run this step. You can skip this step and then just pick what you want, where you want your rivet to go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn my hoop over now. Hold on, my vinyl fell sorry okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and place my vinyl on here it's just another strip this is just your underneath vinyl okay make sure it covers all of that and then just go ahead and tape it down so it's secure I'm just using scotch tape okay like that okay then you're gonna put it back on your machine We are going to go ahead and run step three, which is the last step. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. This is what your top should look like. This is what the back looks like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just take it out of the hoop because that is all the stitching you have to do. Remove it. And we're going to Now you're going to go ahead and cut around this, so let me cut around it real quick. Since this is such a long straight line, you probably could easily use like your ruler and um, a rotary cutter, you know. But I'm just going to use scissors. Okay, we are done cutting. Okay, I'm going to cut off these little strands right here you have a couple little strands from the back okay now you have your three hole placements on here one right there and then these two right here so you can do a couple things if you buy one of these rivet sets these are just called rivets if you buy one of these they give you this and it has um sharp edge and you put it there like around the circle and you hit it with a hammer 
I always put like um, a mat down first so it doesn't go through my desk, but you hit it and then it pokes the hole through here. You can use that, it comes with the set. I like to use my Cropodile, so I'm gonna use that. I'm just poking the holes. It's hard to see because my vinyl gets stuck in this hole. Okay, so I have my three holes there. Okay, now what you're going to do is you are going to take a rivet. Like I said, I don't know if gold, I don't know if I want to use gold or if I want to use... Um, silver again. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like the gold. I think I'm going to use silver. I did the, right here I did a crystal on this one. This is actually what I prefer to use in this, this pretty crystal right here. It comes like this, and it has a back to it. So, I mean, we'll just use this. You have these two that are just solid, this rivet thing. So they come with a top. Let me get the back, and then they come with a back. So it's the same as this. It's a top and a back. This one just has a crystal on it, so they're fancier. Okay, so your rivet set comes with one of these. There's two indentions. You want to use the one that's the right size. Mine's a little bigger because I have this, so I'm going to use that size. And then they have this right here that has an indented side, okay? So the way that I do this is you're gonna go ahead, you need your hardware, hardware at the same time, so you can just use these lobster swivel clasps right here. You can use these, you can have um, bigger ones. I like using these fancier ones, these ones. I just got them on Amazon. So you're gonna go ahead and put it between the two holes right here, fold those holes over, like that and then there's a hole down here this is where you're gonna put your crystal like that these are just folded so your hardware is in here you gotta make sure your hardware is in here already okay so I don't have anything on here it's just folded with the hardware in there okay then I bring this over and, put that down. and then you can see that that's in there you're gonna put it through that hole Make sure your hardware is on this other side and you need to get it through both holes. Okay. I still have like fuzz going through on this side. Let me poke some through right here. Hold in. See, I have all the vinyl fabric there sitting there still when I punched my hole. Maybe that other tool will be better. My um, crocodile is kind of old, so it's, but you want to get it all the way through so you can see it's through all three holes, okay? Once it's through all three holes, then you go ahead and take this side. You can see there's a back right there. You put that in there like that. Did you see how it kind of snapped? So it just kind of sets in there. Okay, then you take, it's just sitting in there, it's not set. So then you take this, and I'm gonna put that on the side of my crystal like this. So the crystal's there. I'm gonna take this side that has the curve on this tool. I'm gonna put it on top of there, and then I'm gonna take a hammer, and I'm gonna hit it a few times. And you can see that it kind of curves, and then it just sets it together. That is it, and then you are done. Super cool, super easy, and that's how you set it. And then these are set the same way. You can see that you have shorter ones, medium sized ones, and longer ones in this kit. I'll show you this kit. This has the different metal colors and they have three sizes. So you only use this like longest one when you have something really super thick. You wouldn't use it on something like this. Honestly, you saw how I had kind of had a hard time getting this all the way through all three. It worked, but the medium size one probably would have been the best one because it's a little bit longer and it would get through this a little easier. But if I tried putting this super long one in here, 
you see how it's like that? It would leave the opening, like it wouldn't squish down and adhere to, like click to here. You would just have it all wobbly in between. So you gotta pick the right length. That's why there's different lengths. So the medium one of this probably would have been the best one for this vinyl. The thicknesses of vinyls are different. So that's how you do it though. So all done, looks super pretty. Put it on your wrist. Okay, this is the 12 size one, okay? There's different sizes, so I hope that helps you. I hope you can make this now. Let me know if you have any questions or if anything was confusing, and I will try to answer it. Okay, so there's our finished project. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe and um, also, if you hit the bell, it will notify you when I upload another tutorial. Again, this is the Rivet Fob by Parker on the Porch. So if you go to show more under this video, under my name, I think there's a show more, you click it and it will have all of my links to the different stuff I use. Again, this vinyl is my punk birdery vinyl and then the hardware and the rivets I bought here were just off Amazon. So enjoy. I can't wait to see what you guys make. See you in the next tutorial.